David Hayes, the trainer of Criterion. David, just explain what happened uh, with the horse before getting on the plane to Hong Kong. Uh, the highs and lows, uh, we galloped him at Mooney Valley and he worked beautifully, really really did a great exhibition gallop. And then on Sunday morning he got a compulsory tick wash to, to leave Australia or to come into Hong Kong and um, he had a reaction to it which showed up as symptoms of colic. So we thought he had a colic, so we treated him as if he had a colic. Um, but as it turned out, um, it was uh, only an allergy to the tick wash. He was biting at his stomach and, and, and kicking out a lot and getting very stressed and overheated. But um, that settled and uh, he didn't miss any work through the whole ordeal and I'm very happy with him now. You've laid eyes on him here in Hong Kong, your impressions? Uh, yeah. Look, I, he doesn't look much different to when he left. Um, he doesn't carry a lot of condition on the hind quarter, but he's got a very healthy skin and, um, and, and he's hydrated and doing very well. You've only had him a short time, around five weeks post the McKinnon. What's your impression of him as a horse? Oh, he's pretty classy. He's a very good mover. Um, I haven't worked him super hard because he ran in a cox plate in the McKinnon seven day back up before I got him. So I've taken a fresh view on him. I won't be working him too hard this week and I'll just trust him like you should with good horses. Uh, how do you sort of rate his form? He was midfield in a cox plate, albeit beaten a length and a half or something like that. Um, how do you think that'll stack up for the cup? Um, cox plate's pretty good form. Um, uh, look, he didn't get the best of luck in the cox plate. Probably should have been beaten half a length, I reckon. Uh, he could have easily been placed and finished right alongside the winner. So, and, and then I don't think the really firm track at Flemington suited him off a seven-day backup. He didn't run badly. He was just back of the back of the winners so uh, um, yeah, I'm going quietly confident he'll account for himself pretty well. You know the Chartin track pretty darn well um, you expect that he'll have uh, no dramas with this way going given what he did in Sydney? Yeah well he's a derby winner on this leg and uh, an outstanding two-year-old so I would say he won't have any trouble going this way Chartin's a very fair track. What are your plans between now and Sunday with the horse? Um, probably a lot of lunches, a lot of dinners <laughs> <laughs> and a good gallop tomorrow.